Hello everybody, and welcome to Pro Tuto channel. Today, I gonna show you a new tutorial, on how to establish a Profinet communication between two Siemens CPU, either 1200 or 1500, in TIA portal. So let's start. First of all, we will create two separate projects in TIA portal, in each one we have an S7-1500 CPU. Here, we need to activate this option to enable the simulation of this project later. For the first CPU, we choose CPU 1511. Here, we activate its Ethernet port, and give it an IP address. Next, we have to activate this option, to enable this CPU sending and receiving data through Profinet. Once it's done, compile and let's start creating the program in the first CPU. We want to send data, or put data from CPU 1 to CPU 2. We begin by creating a data block, which contains all data we want to put. This data block must be unoptimized in access, that's why we need to clear this checkbox. Once it is done, let's move to OB1 and call the function put. Now, let's move to the second project, we will do the same steps and create a data block where we want to receive the data. The second PLC, we will give it the IP address, 192.168.0.2. Be careful. Both elements to send and receive should be the same in number and type, the name is not important. A lot of people get confused here, they think they should add a get block here, in the second PLC, so it's wrong. You have the choice to choose either put, or, get, to send data between the CPUs, but not both, so pay attention.
The PLC2 is ready. Let's go back to the first PLC and finish the settings. For further information about the inputs and outputs about this block, just click on it and hit F1. We can click on this small icon to enter the settings of this block. Here, we enter the IP address of the remote CPU, CPU2. And here, for the settings of CPU1, we make it as default, even the name of the connection. Now, we have to mention the destination and the source of data we want to send. In our case, we want to put data from data block 1, in PLC1, to data block 5, PLC2. Also, we have to mention how many data we want to put, and starting from which address. In our case, we want to send 32 bytes, starting from the first element of data block. The last thing we should do, is to generate a request every second, means, we want to put data to the remote PLC every one second. Finally, we can use PLCSIM Advanced, and upload the two programs to the two CPUs. When you upload the two programs, but data was not sent from PLC to PLC, we should make sure that both PLCs allow the put and get option. Finally, we have the data as well put from PLC and PLC, updated every one second. But we noticed that the last element was not transferred. So, we have to check the amount of data transferred between the two PLCs. Here we go, after watching this tutorial, you will be able to use put function to send data between two PLCs, through Profinet, in Siemens TIA portal. Make sure to like and subscribe for more advanced tutorials. Thanks for watching.